were you thinking? <laughs> you know, because the, 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 I hope you guys enjoy the Granger as much as I do. I, I find it such a, really, in most of his writing, I find it just incredibly beautiful. Um, and for some reason, I decided to follow it with this one. Um, which, you know, this, <laughs> when we start, you know why. Um, the next piece uh, is composed by a uh, composer uh, Elliot Delborga, who actually um, taught for a very long time um, at the uh, Crane School of Music, where um, I got my undergraduate degree in music education. Um, and I've played a number of his pieces over the years, and, and uh, I've really enjoyed many of his works. Uh, and this is something that he composed uh, in the 1970s. Um, you know, uh, this doesn't say anywhere in the notes, but, but, but he, he was composed for the Crane Wind Ensemble. And um, my thinking is that the director at the time, uh, who was probably Tony Maiello, said, Hey, Elliot, I need a really tough piece that's going to really challenge the woodwinds. Can you throw a lot of notes down on the page for them? Um, and he was like, Oh, yeah, I can do that. Um, <laughs> and, and we got this one. Um, and Prologue and Dance, um, you know, we talk about diversity of musical styles. Um, large sections of this work are atonal. Um, for those of you who um, don't know what that means, it, it means that the, the large sections of the work lack a key signature um, or a tonal center. You'll find out what that sounds like in just a second. Um, it sounds a lot different than Granger. Um, but the, the work is really, um, we decided to program it here because um, it, it's really quite exciting despite some, uh, some pretty harsh dissonances and um, really some sounds that you guys are probably not used to hearing. So uh, anyway, we hope you very much enjoy. Um, I hope I've changed the, I've cleansed your palate with all this, you know, talking. Not that I really want to talk that much, but um, hopefully you have a fresh mindset now. Okay, here's something new. Um, this is Elliot Dubois with Prologue and Dance.
Okay. Well, uh, thank you all again so much for coming out and uh, sparing, uh, sharing part of your uh, Tuesday evening with us. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we certainly hope that you guys, um, you know, spread the word about uh, you know the facility here. Hopefully, you uh, enjoy your your new seats and you know all the other amenities here at, at uh, Top High School. And, um, please do come back. Um, we're going to play just one more this evening, um, and you know, this is the, f the first time in my memory um, since I uh, moved to Illinois that it hasn't been like cold and snowy by the first week of December. Uh, and when I take this piece out, I was like, oh, we have to play in March. And uh, for coffee of Sopus 99, it's like this incredibly cool, you know, quirky, fast, really Russian March. And I was like, it's perfect. <laughs> it'll be cold and it'll be bundled up and they'll all just be all, you know, Central Siberian and it'll be perfect. <laughs> Unfortunately, it's like strikingly nice for December, um, and, and I already programmed it. So anyway, we hope you like it, uh, despite the, the not so terrible weather. And maybe that'll continue. So maybe I keep planning pieces that only work in cold weather, and you know maybe it'll just be like Florida here all the time. So <laughs> we can only hope. Uh, anyway, thank you again for coming, and this is Prokofiev's Scopus 99.